this to... Man, what you you stated about? facts and you don't have a source for your facts. Can you just check the question? India is first class system, class system. <laughs> system yeah. okay yeah. worst yeah. like you know female infanticide you know yeah. what what, what century are you do you know what caste is you do you accept is an english it word it's not is, caste is an english yeah. word do you know this what caste is an english word understood or not what i said so, so what are you talking you about, what, right. talking about the what you're saying is wrong there's there's a caste system, you are confusing you know. banner people, you know, people, you know, people you cannot even come out in the morning you have there are people socially. So what, is, what, is, what is it in Hindi? Is First it? of all, it's not caste, it's Barna. You know what Barna is? So, you don't know. You don't know about the slavery. What, what about Barna? Barna, my friend. Barna means vocation. From Sanskrit. Vocation, Barna. What about Jati? It's propaganda that was introduced. Propaganda in the 19th century propaganda. You had a caste system. That is you had Sati. What about, what about Jati? What about Jati? Propaganda. What about Jati? And you've fallen. Right, you've fallen right, for you propaganda. Right. Right. You have. You've fallen propaganda. What about Jati? Is that, is that something which is caste? Barna means. Barna means. Barna means. Barna means. Vocation. Barna means. Vocation. There is, there is untouchable, you okay. know, yes. and they are not allowed to post. Untouchable, yeah. and they are not. What are you talking about? They're untouchable because they of their priority. We are untouchable, you know, and they are not allowed to. They are, they are not allowed to come in the, in the if, daytime. If what you're saying is true, if what you're saying is true, why does the constitution of India make untouchability illegal. They made it illegal. They made it illegal. But exactly. still it's not, it's not in practice. They have made India got independence. Yeah. India got what independence what 1947. What saving India is there? Why is it illegal under the What saving India is there? It's their constitution. Why is it illegal? They have, they have Who made it illegal? Guys, guys, why the shout? You're just Why is it illegal? No need to shout. Why is this criminal? Why is this criminal? I know, I know, you're not going to speak. If you speak, I don't need to shout. By the way, why did the Indian constitution have a special clause in there for this lower caste to be treated equally is it because they were treated unequally good point what what the constitution yeah, was doing what the constitution was doing was it was guaranteeing that india divided up into varnas which is different vocations by whom and by the way who divided them into varnas these are self-selecting vocations that communities specialize in. no no but is it in the hindu scriptures the varna system yeah happened as a result of specialization in Britain, in London today. No, it's very, is it a let, Vedic philosophy? Don't interrupt me. Let me answer the question. Yeah, but you were in London, him just in London, now. In London today, yeah. you have people who specialize. Trade. So you have people, you have trades. Varna means trade. Is man's right here. Well, very wise. So it, so it means in Sanskrit, the person who specializes. You're much more likely to be a good plumber if your parents were a plumber, especially before you had universities, before you had vocational colleges, you had to be an apprentice. In order to be an apprentice, the master who would teach you, the master plumber, let me finish, don't change the subject, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish, you don't like uh, the truth. Because the truth is different from the propaganda in your mind. You don't want wisdom. No, no, you, it's not wisdom. It is. You are just, a master you're plumber. The let me you're finish. Let me finish. You're not let me finish and you can speak. The master plumber would not teach a random person's son or daughter to be a plumber unless he was paid a high fee. Why would he do that? Because that person would compete with him. So for that person's son or daughter, they would teach them as an apprentice plumber for free. And that was the reason why you've got families specializing in vocations. And the highest paid people in India were, were included the caste that were metal workers. Common knowledge. Yeah, but not, it's common knowledge, yes. It's not metal all workers. Life. And the only what reason about, why. Tell us about the untouchable. Only, let, let me tell finish. Us about untouchable. The, the so called, your so called untouchables okay, included the metal workers. Yeah. The metal workers were once the, one of the richest communities in India, the metal workers and their income collapsed. And their income didn't collapse because some Brahmin priest said they're untouchables, uh, that uh, these are evil people. Their income collapsed because of industrialization. The metal goods were being made in factories. So those metal workers became extremely poor. The East India Company banned... Why, 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 let me finish. No, no, you just let finish, me finish. Just the East India Company banned down. manufactured goods from India and these metal workers and manufacturing workers 
became extremely poor. They became the poorest people in India. India is the worst. So what place, you're okay? saying is still, still what you're saying. Are what, not you're saying, to in what you're saying Brahman's is completely if wrong. You enter, if you enter in Brahman's don't temple, have the wisdom they just, you on know, the topic. They burn you alive. Yeah, they burn you alive. Just making up propaganda. No, it's not deliberate. propaganda. If you have you read the, okay, now you have spoken a lot. Will you let us speak without sorry, interrupting? Sorry, sorry. Okay. Do you believe the Upanishads are something which is a Hindu scriptures which they believe as a shruti? Upanishads are. are a part of a vast literature which no single human being could ever read. The Vedas, the Upanishads, and the other scriptures. Is it a Hindu These scripture? These are millions of I didn't ask you how many they are. I just asked you, are there Hindu scriptures which are credible according to the Hindus? No, because Upanishads. They're, no, they're not credible. Because, <laughs> Upanishads are not because credible. The Upani I've read the Upanishads. So which, which the scriptures Upanishads, are... Which, the Upanishads, the Upanishads, the Vedas... Can you have a civilized do not have the Upanishads include, for example, the Bhagavad Gita. Okay. The Bhagavad Gita is very close to Buddhism. Other parts of the Vedas and the Upanishads are very close to a more warlike religion, like, say, Islam, which is very warlike. So, different aspects I of the Vedas, was warlike. The, the different, different <laughs> parts, was a Hindu. Different he parts, wars. different parts of the Vedas have have a different. Okay, give me one scripture. Belief. Give me one and scripture. Why, let me finish. Let no, no, me finish. you. I just asked you one question. You went the into. You have many different sub-religions within the Vedas. Are the Vedas considered Hindu gods. scriptures? Many are the Vedas considered the Vedas. Hindu scriptures? The Vedas are considered a body of scriptures that you can choose to follow. And different uh, different wise men, different gurus as they What's call, the difference between a Shruti and Smithy? Let's see if you know the difference Vedas. between Shruti and Smithy. Do you know the difference between Shruti and Smithy? Because the Upanishads and the Vedas can come under Shruti, which they have to follow, which cannot be changed, unlike the Smriti. If you read Manu Smriti, that is where most of these cause, uh, what do you say, discriminations yeah, right. come from. If you read, there's a reason. Laws of Manu, look, look. The laws of Manu is I let you speak. No, no, I let you speak. Allow me to speak without interrupting. Stuff. Without interrupting. I did not. No. The reason, and doctor. This is what we've wait, been doing wait. The as reason. Well. You're making stuff up. You're interrupting. You bro, bro, wait, wait. You don't have the source. Brother, 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 wait. The reason. You're repeating propaganda. The reason, doctor. 19th century propaganda as if it's fact. By the way, open his shut. I know what the sources are. You know, you're behaving Where your propaganda began. Anyway, let me finish. Let me finish. The open are not from the 19th century. They are not propaganda. They are Hindu okay. scriptures. Okay. Wait, wait. Let me okay. finish without interrupting. Okay. I let you speak at least for uh, 20 minutes or something. No, you haven't. I have. About three or four minutes. I suppose. Okay, so at least allow three or four minutes without interrupting. The Smriti and the Shruti, which you don't know the difference, and I'm sure you don't know. Otherwise, you wouldn't say the Upanishads are something which they choose to follow. No, it is Upanishads and the Vedas are considered to be major texts of the Hindus which they do take very seriously. Maybe you don't, I Is don't know. It, okay, you're changing now, you're jumping around. No, I'm around. not. I'm we talking about the scripture. You must follow or take seriously. This is two very different two things. things okay, clear, when you take okay. something seriously, do you not follow it? They are untouchable. There's a huge okay. population so, of so, untouchable so, in India. Let, okay. let me give you an illustration. No, no, but I'm finish it. You didn't even give me one minute. You're already interrupting after one minute. No, 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 no. Let me finish. I no, gave no, no, you use no. a three, four minutes. Don't jump onto you separate not, points. It's not don't separate points. You are, you are. I, I use the scripture. Let me point, then you can come back. Okay. Let, well, okay let so me, no, 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 don't move I will on. interrupt you then. Whether I will interrupt you. I will interrupt you. I will interrupt you. Whether you take something seriously, okay, if you, don't you do must it. follow it. Okay. two different things. I take, for example, the Quran very seriously. No, you don't. Do I literally follow everything in the Quran? Of course not. Nobody can follow every single thing in a book because nobody's perfect. So the point I'm basically making is that there's a vast literature in Hinduism and, and, and I've listened to a lot of the literature, the Quran, I've, been, I've sat in Regent's Park Mosque, I've been to Hindu temples, Christian churches, uh, Buddhist uh, uh, temples as well for meditation, and I've learned something in all of them. Christianity I love, the Sermon on the Mount. What's that going to do with the topic? So, so the point I'm trying to make is this. Is what? The point I'm trying to make is this. Do you have to believe in the scriptures or you don't? Is That's the question that, I asked Is that I take a lot of okay, scriptures very seriously. Okay. Now I, got but I this, don't believe I got that the, I must follow them. I got oh, this so literally. Okay, which which sampradaya of the Hindus do you follow? If you're a Hindu, my friend, you're in a different discussion. I have listened starting, you know. to a lot of. I didn't ask you who you listen. I just asked you which sampradaya do you follow? 
and I believe that in the Bhagavad Gita, just as in the Quran, yeah. and just as in the, the, the writings of the Buddha, and just as in the Bible of Christianity, that there's a lot of wisdom. That wasn't my question. And I've been very, very profoundly moved and influenced by that wisdom. But are you a Hindu or not? My friend, I've just given you my answer. No, that I'm open no, you have All you did was you listened to X, Y, and Z. I just asked you, are you a Hindu? I brother, brother, my, I said, but are you a Hindu I or said, you're not? I, I said, you see, you want to answer the question. You want to put because if you ask, tribe. no, I didn't. You want to put people okay. into okay, tribes. It's not a tribe. I can do it. It's not a tribe. Let me tell you something. I believe the only tribe. I got this status. I believe you are a new Hindu. You choose. You pick and choose based on your whims and desires. Okay, that's the reason. Humanity is the tribe. You pick and choose what what your whims and desires are. I do. Yes, let me explain. So you're you're not a new you're a new Hindu. I do pick and choose. In Tamil Nadu, there was all including Islam. In Tamil Nadu. Best ideas from so, Hindu. So after reading all this, who do you think is God? You have read all the scriptures. So according to you, because I don't know, I don't know. Do you actually believe there is a God or you don't? Okay. So the problem is you have to define what you mean by God because everyone has a different definition. What's your definition? You want me to define? Of course, yeah. Okay. We want to see which so, where you actually stand. Okay. We, okay there's a universe. There's a man who stands us. for no. One. Okay. There's a universe that's all around us. Yes. Yeah. And this universe exists. I know I exist because I can feel things, see things. I know I exist. I see the universe all around me, so I believe, yeah, it probably exists. This is all real, real people in front of me. Okay. Go Very on. good people. Yes. But then there's a big problem. Where does this existence come from? Why do, do I wake up in the morning? Life is a struggle. You know, life is a struggle to work, to strive, to live, to survive. Why do I go through all this effort? What's the purpose of it all? Who created me and why did they create me? And that also is linked to why was this universe all around us created? Is there a creator of this universe? Did the universe create itself? Are you answering or asking? I'm trying to do both. No, but I asked you a simple you question. Can you please? Question. You have to ask. Can you please the answer the question? Who is God according to you? Okay. Good. So, so if we agree there's a universe that exists, then we have to know how did it get created? Does it have a separate creator who created it, and do we call that creator God? And if that creator created the universe, that creator created all of you. And if it created all of you, then it will probably know why you should live, why you wake up in the morning and you struggle to survive. You love your families. You love. We're giving your a lecture. Well, that's why. My friend, here. I didn't ask you the purpose of life. I asked you. That's why we're here. No, no. I asked you who is God. Why are we here? All I asked you is what is God according to you? Die? Can you please answer so that what question? What I'm trying to say. Is, yes. You're you're giving a thesis on a, on why the purpose of your life. There has to be a creator that created. Okay. So us. do you believe in God? That, yes or no? Let, let, let me get. What, yeah, please get that quickly because one, one you're giving a lecture. Time. You're giving a lecture. Well, you, you, do you well, like well, the do you like the sound of your voice? My friend. Do you like the sound of your voice? I like to answer based on the question I'm asked. You see, you're do you like to do that? How am I insulting you? All I said is when somebody asks you a question, give an answer to that. Don't go about beating the sound of your voice. You do because I asked you several times a simple question and you're beating it on the bush, not answering the question. I'm directly answering your question. Are you? By defining the question. Oh, so wait, wait. You start with a so, you, so now, you, you, so now you're saying my question is not well defined when I ask you, who is God according to you? And I'm answering that. Which part? Because which part you, are you, you answering? Have, you have to define the question. Which part have you not got? If, if you talk in terms of God, we have to define what God okay, so is. That's what I asked. That's you. what I was the trying to do. The term God. The term when God. When I tried to do that, you kept interrupting okay. my friend. So far, you have said you why, why, who created the universe? The universe exists. I what is our purpose here? What is God to do with who is God? That is the central question, what the purpose is. That's why everybody. If you can't here. answer, just say why so. Why are all these people here? Because they want to know what the purpose well, is. The purpose? Okay. Do you just have the answer? Minute, no, the, the question is to you. Have what's you if you don't have the answer, tell me and I'll answer you. Yeah, just, what's the purpose? just tell me what is God according to you once we again. Want to know what the purpose of life is. And God is the thing connected with answering that question. When we go to a Did religion, I ask you the purpose of we, your existence? No. We, when we go to a religion, and it could be Hinduism, the Vedas, it could be the Quran, Islam, Muhammad, and Allah, it could be Jesus and a God, it could be Moses and uh, Yahweh. So you're not or, certain. Or, or it could be the Buddha. So you're not certain. Or it could be the Buddha. So you're not certain. 
when we go to those religions, we're not going there because we're saying, who is God? Let me do what he says. I'm his slave. Why not? That's not, what, that's not what we're doing. You could doing. be. That's not what we're really do doing. How do you know? How do you know? That's not, that's How not do what you know? we're really doing. Because if what, what, what we're really doing is, is we're saying, every day my life is a struggle. I wake up in the morning to stay alive. The work I do, the relationships I have to maintain. Why do I do all of this? You see, that's the reason why we want to know what is God? But what created me? Okay, so have you why got the should, answer? Why should I continue? Have you got the answer? This is like the fourth time. Have you got the answer after seek, wait minute, after you started seeking all these directions? So far, have you got the answer who is God or not? I'm trying to try, answer try this. question. This I'm is like the fourth time. Fourth time you're trying. You're repeating it. Exactly, I'm repeating because you haven't when answered you answer yet. A question, if you ask me, can you explain to me what gravity is? And I try to explain to you step by step. Here's time, here's a ruler. Here's an apple, the apple falls, hits the ground. And step by step I explain what gravity is. Yes. And you keep interrupting me every time I say there's a ruler and there's a... And there's a, a no, no, a, a, you a said you saw all these different you keep, religions. If you, keep, if you keep interrupting no, no, no. me, you, you'll never by know the way, what gravity is. Have you realized you interrupted me within the first minute? And then you get offended when I interrupt you, when you're not answering the question I asked you. Several times I asked you now, you wait, wait. The reason you're smiling now is because you know that you haven't answered the question. Uh, the you're beating I'm it on the bush. Is you, you, you want, saying answer no, the no, no, no. You want to, you, won't you know what he wants to do? He wants to please everyone so that he doesn't get put on the spot. Now he has been put on the spot What's to wrong answer. With pleasing the, everyone. Because you cannot. Surely, surely, that surely. Is, that is foolish. But the truth doesn't please everyone. No, no, no. If, I, when you, if, if everyone here, if everyone here knew what causes gravity, if you try to please everyone, you, would that not please no, no. everyone here? Gravity is different to God. If everyone here knew what the purpose of life is, would that not please everyone? Okay, shall I answer that without interrupting? If everyone here knew the truth, would that not please everyone? I told you, you know, you, you think that Everything the that you... purpose of life is to try to please as many people as you can, no, not to no, upset no, them. No. So you will have to lie then, in order to do that. Because you know there are many people who will not agree with everything that you say. Exactly. So in order to please them, you'll have to lie How to them. How many people here disagree with 2 plus 2 equals 4? What's that got to do Put with... Put your hand up if you dis disagree. What's that? With two that has got to do with logic. Nobody says, okay. nobody says so logic is wrong. that you're wrong on this point. No, no, no. I said if you're proving... Everybody, so you're everybody no, no. agrees. No, no. When you try to talk about agrees. religion... Wait, wait. When you talk about religion... What do you have done now? You have gone from religion to maths. Two different, two They're different fields. They're not two different things. They're not two Are different they? Things. Okay, so what in mathematics, what is God? In terms of mathematics. <laughs> let's watch that. Okay. Go on, go on. Let's, let's, let's talk in terms of mathematics. Yes, go on. What is God? Make sure you involve God in that. Creator. Do we agree that God is the creator? Yes. And in order to create anything, you have to start with something. Something? Like what? Yeah. What you have thing? to start with something. What, what thing? In order to create anything, you have to start with something. Do what thing? Agree with that? Why not X Nilo? So what do we start? Why with? not X Nilo? Okay, let's take zero. Yes. Let's say I want to create a proton and an electron. A proton has a positive charge. It's a plus. An electron has See, no a answer again. charge. I asked, where is the God in the maths? He goes into a different time. No, 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 maths. That's what he does. He so evades the question. about maths. He evades the you question. You asked about maths. I said God and in maths. God. I am talking about God. God in maths. So let's talk about the creator. Yes. Are you talking about matter, what, material what world? Yes. yes. The material what? world. He's talking about the material yeah, world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in terms of maths. Yeah, but God doesn't so, need material so, to so create. So we're talking about the creator. What created the universe? Yes. We yes. define yes. God we as the creator. We define God as the creator of the universe. Do you agree with that, by the way? God is the creator of the universe. Okay, so that's definitely when one say, of the definitions. Okay, yes. when you say God is so the creator, no, no, wait, wait, wait. When you say God is the creator of the universe, you're yeah. assuming God exists. That's one of the definitions. Let's start. Let's focus on. No, that no, no, one not right less. Now. Do you agree God let's exists? Do you agree, agree God exists? No, no, no. We're trying it. We're trying to show if it's possible. Oh, that, so it is still if it's possible okay, that God exists. Okay, okay. Ah. So have you so, have you so, realized that? It's we've a bit. A, we've got a we've negative. Got a we got a minus one and we got a positive, a plus one. Now, how do we create them out of nothing? If we start with a zero and we split the zero into two numbers and those two numbers... You can't split zero in math. You can never split zero in math. I don't know which math is doing it. Nice try. Let me zero into two numbers. Have you realized that? You cannot in mathematics split zero into anything. Zero is nothing. Let me finish my friend.
You know how it feels now? Let, let me finish. Let me finish. Good. You take your zero yeah. and you split your zero. You can't split a zero. You cannot split a zero. Let me finish. Remember, this you know when you try to divide a zero? That's what it means. No. You get an error. No, exactly. When you try to divide a zero, he doesn't know math, this guy. You can't divide zero. Because it I'm doesn't exist. About zero is zero. Your zero. You can't divide Wait, a zero. Me Splitting means Why divide. You because you your math is wrong. You won't let the answer be heard. <laughs> you never answer anything. The you go about is, beating it on the bush. You split your zero yes. into plus one and minus one. You cannot one. split You're it. Into about that you can one, never split a zero into plus, plus one, one and minus plus one. one. You cannot. Minus one equals equal zero. zero. You cannot split a zero. Plus one minus one equals zero. Yes or no? No, but you cannot split a zero. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? No, you cannot split plus a zero. One, you one. wouldn't answer my question. You talked about how okay, do you so get God Okay, so it's got nothing with God. Have you realized how that? You get God so from once again, he said nothing about God. God okay, mass. and by the way, he said earlier mass. this guy, you know, the, the I, discussion. I, I, I think wait, 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 the discussion. Plus one, plus one, yeah, you can split zero. minus one. Oh, look plus what we got. One, plus one. Minus one. That's what I told him. Zero. No, no, no. You know why? You know why he's talking? Let me do you, a calculation. You said divide zero by zero. No, I didn't say yes, that. Yes, you said split that. zero. Look, you said split look, zero. Look, look, look. Show it to your camera. Plus one. He didn't say that. Plus no, one. one was zero. Plus one minus one, one equals there is zero. No one there. Plus there is one minus one equals zero. You said split the zero. No error. Did you say split the zero? No error. Did you say split the zero? I said split zero. Exactly. Try splitting the zero. Plus one and minus one. If you split zero, I didn't say divide it. I said no, no. You said when you split it, you don't get plus one. Split zero. When you split zero, you don't get plus one. No, you don't get it. Okay, so where is God still? I still don't see the God. Where is the God? You said, how do you get God from okay. math? You know, earlier, uh, because he's not listening to us, I'm going to listen to you. You know, earlier, he said that the, the, the caste system is... You know, you, know where he, you know where he was lying about the Wanna? The Wanna in the Hinduism is called Jati. He did not want to indulge in that. And you open his shots, it says, it says, wait, wait, wait. I don't want to debate. No, I don't want to, because you don't, because you don't listen. You don't listen to me. Okay. Now, the reason I'm not talking to him is because he does not answer any questions. The, the reason he didn't want to indulge in the open his shots is this. He says, he says in, he says in Chandagya open his shots, number five times seven. He says, now people, now listen to me, I'll listen to you. Now people, now people here, whose behavior is pleasant can expect to enter pleasant wombs like the Brahmin, the Kshatriya, or the Vaishya caste. But people of foul behavior cannot expect to enter a foul, can expect to enter only a foul womb like the dog or a pig or the untouchable caste Chandana. So the caste system is called the Jati, which he tried to say is the, it's actually the Varanas. No, they are not based on the occupation in their open charge with the what, scripture what, what, wait 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 long from? before long what before the english came from? long before the muslims came India, this particular India, book was already there the reason he wanted to throw it under the bus is because it doesn't agree with his own narration you know why this guy talks a lot because he doesn't want to answer the question i asked him no it was about caste system it was about caste system i got statistics for female yes. in 25. okay 20 in 2021 in 2021 15 people 15, 15 female out of 1.6 billion in Tamil, in Tamil Nadu. Just 15, 15, 15 in Tamil 15 Nadu. 15 people out of what? 100 in Tamil Nadu. 10 in Andhra Pradesh. You have female in Bangladesh. 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15 in Tamil Nadu. Rajasthan is 7. You know, uh, Madhya Pradesh is 6. It's all six together. People. Six, six people out of 120 six is, million. Even one child is like a, you know, is a human. What are you talking million. about? If they kill one, one child, you know, one infant is, for you, it's nothing. My friend, about, my friend, my friend, you said the there billions is still of people untouchable. You there is said, a caste system, you worst said, caste system. You said there were millions of people experiencing infanticide, and you're talking about six people, millions of six people, people out of 120 you just, million. You are lying. You didn't even listen to Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu is 50 million people. You refuse to debate this person nicely. You just fact that you didn't answer the question. What you're talking about by your own By the way, by the way, it's extremely rare. Maybe, maybe it is a. How many people? How many people died in COVID in India? Guess. Just give a rough guess. 
The overall rate of mortality. Okay, you want to answer? See, you don't answer the question. The over, I you am answering. No, you're, you're not. You're answer. not. You're not. You're talking about the overall mort rate of so mortality. So in India, millions died Dylan, during the COVID. Dylan, millions Dylan, during the COVID. Dylan, you know what? You know. Year, wait, wait. Read, read, this, read this. Read this. Read this. Read this. How many died in Britain this. of COVID? It says your cost kills more in India than coronavirus. <laughs> okay, so it's not six. <laughs> it's not six. It's millions. How can a kill someone? Cost system. How can a car system kill someone? Because the cars they discriminate. That's a job. No, it's it's no, no. It's, according to you, job. that's a lie. No, it's, it's not, not a, a job. No, no. It the reason, job. the reason they kill no, the untouchables. Why does a job, job has to discriminate based on touching? Why do they become untouchable? Okay, okay, okay. You know earlier what he said. He said because they were metal, they're working in metal, they become untouchable. Okay. Look at the absurdity of this man. He lives under a rock. If he thinks he's going to deny what happens in India. The caste system kills more than coronavirus. This is okay. a Deccan Chronicle. So you've got some random website. Deccan Chronicle is so, not so random. What, what website is that? Deccan Chronicle. Is so, it, so, you, so, so, so you got one random website. Paper. How many do you need? It's okay, it's how many do you need? Okay, what caused COVID 19? Oh, go ahead. Changing the topic. Oh, changing yeah. the topic. Yeah. That's what you call changing the topic. COVID-19 COVID was created in a lab. COVID-19 was created in a lab. COVID-19 You know, now that it's lost the argument, it's changing the topic. Okay, do you believe it? Do you believe Reuters is... Was, was is wait a Is Reuters... No, well, not on COVID-19. No, no, I don't believe a word hold on, Reuters hold on. say. No, no, I'm not saying on about COVID-19. I'm not saying about COVID-19. COVID-19 was total propaganda, by the way. <laughs> Who's talking about it? changing the topic. Nobody believes in COVID-19 today. No. Is any this newspaper... This is the worst possible source you can have. Okay. Is any newspaper... COVID-19 was a hoax. Is any newspaper, according to and, you, and credible? And he believes the hoax of COVID-19. I didn't talk about COVID-19. I said it if killed you believe more people. The hoax, we are not interested you believe about the that. other hoax, like Sati, yeah. the is that in a caste system? Actually, actually, actually Sati, those are hoaxes too. No, no, Sati was real, it wasn't hoax. He throws the COVID-19 hoax. No, I compared it with COVID. I didn't tell you. COVID-19 admitted fact. Every organization yeah, in the no world problem, created in a lab. Okay. Biological weapon created Don't in a lab. Don't change the topic because you lost. It's a hoax. Is there, is there any newspaper you believe in? Define no, no. Me what is there any, is. any newspaper Define you believe in? Define to me what a hoax is. You are one What's hoax. hoax? Like you. Okay. <laughs> are, the, are, the moon, are the moon landings real? Oh, Did yeah, you go. Really go. This guy is a conspirator. Okay. okay. He believes okay. in conspiracy okay. theories. Okay, tell me now. Now, they really okay. went you to know, the since moon. you don't answer any questions, let me ask you. Brother, according to him, no newspaper is credible. So Reuters is not a credible newspaper. Did Reuters say we went to the moon? By the way, stop touching me. Did Reuters That's say we went to the moon? I don't want to talk to you because you don't answer any okay, questions. Okay, okay. Okay. So, you, so, so you've got a host. you know why? You know why he doesn't answer any question? Because he doesn't. He doesn't actually believe anything that is real. Like for example, the caste so system the in India is pretty real. He doesn't COVID believe it. Is okay. Real. He doesn't believe. It. I told it's you, I'm not talking to you. Real. Which part you didn't get? Okay. So he says in quoting hoaxes. None of the newspapers are coming to him is real. In India, the more caste. Nobody yeah, believes because of cars, we went to the moon. Yeah, because of cars, even if they touch, even if they touch that God's idol, the lower cars they get killed. So this is the car system. system. So what are you saying about the car system? I'm saying the caste system is pretty real in India. There are people who die because of the caste system. Ah, the reason the ah, constitution, the reason the constitution has a special clause for protection of the scheduled caste is because of this, yeah. because of this reason yeah. Yeah. that the Hindus used to discriminate them based on which family they were born in. And that is the reason I just read in open Upanishads, which he just pushed under the do bus. Do you disagree with that? Yeah, I do disagree with See what I mean? Based on his spins and designs. Is, is, what, is what I disagree, is the what I disagreed <laughs> with. Is the Rishi Sunak Let's let, let, no, let let stop or interrupting. Stop do you agree or do you disagree? Stop interrupting. Stop interrupting. Rishi Sunak is the Prime Minister or not? Because you don't listen to Prime Minister. He doesn't listen to any of the words. We are interested in your answer. The answer I gave was this. In these so-called untouchable castes, you had some of the poorest people in India. And India used to be the richest country in the world. And the reason why, the reason why, the by 1947, <laughs> it was the poorest country in the world, it was, After is the because the, the Industrial Revolution meant many of the manufactured tradesmen in India lost their jobs they because of industrialization. Trade. Trade and, and, and those people are your so-called untouchable people. No, 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 no. Those hold are on, the people. The reason the became, industries were destroyed was because the people, of the colonialists. Those are the, the people. East India the East India Company, those they colonized. The people, 
this yes. this trade. What yes. they used to do, you know, they, they used did. to fill the market yes. with the with the products that came from Britain. Yes, and they true. used to take the cotton from India, take it to Britain, and then sell it back to the Indians. That is the that's reason. True. It's got nothing to do with the and caste Mahatma system. Gandhi that is a lie. That. He's agreed with that. I what? agree with that. So what is going so, to be so, caste so, system? So, so you've just, what is you've going just to be told me system? my answer. What? Well, the answer I gave was that the, the manufacturer tradesmen of India were banned from doing their jobs. But what's that going to do with cost They nothing. became extremely poor. So, he's asking, what's so that you're so called. So it's got nothing so to do with the untouchable. So called unemployed people in India who were extremely poor were all these hundreds of millions of people that was the who point. couldn't do their, their vocations. That's so because that, of the colonialism. So it's got nothing. That was the because no, no, no. Of colonialism. The, the caste because system. Of the East India oh, no, no, no. The caste system existed you, long before. The wrong See, one get, let me get a word in. What kind of a person are you? Well, you want to talk. No, you're, you're not. You're you're talking talking you will not let anyone talk. And that's the reason I'm talking. Okay. No, you are the one talking, no, sir. Go and watch the video. This is on Dava Wise and the other channels. Okay. Now, you, know, you see the caste system. The caste system. You know the. Before yeah, yeah. The Upanishads. The Upanishads existed long before the Brits right, so and the he's Mughals came. Talking the Upanishads okay. that I've done. The, certainly so the ones have, I've listened to. So, don't see, mention I give you the reference. Well, well, I give you the reference. The Upanishads I've listened to. See again, he won't let me talk. The Upanishads. And that is the reason I don't talk to him because he won't let anyone talk. What about And the book he's talking about is the laws of Manu. Exactly. That's the one he's talking about. No, I talk about. As the well. one, no, you didn't. Don't you lie. I did several times. It's on I... the camera. It's on, so the cameras don't lie like you. The, 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 you quoted the laws of man. No, I didn't even quote the laws of man. I kept talking about the Upanishads and you pushed it under the bus. Remember initially? No. You, quoted, you didn't know the difference between Sufi and Smithy. You, quote, you quoted. So is there evidence that caste system existed before? Came. Yes, there is. Was it discriminatory? It was very no, discriminatory. There's a big dispute about that. Where, no. Oh, now there's a dispute. Earlier you said it's only the Varna. It is only based on the career. Now he's made a U turn. What did the historian say? The historians basically, the historians basically state prior to the um, collapse of the trades, the manufacturing trades in India, it was the richest country in the world. That was during the Mughal era. So if, if, these people, during the Mughal era. if these people are so so uh, discriminated against, why are they the richest people on the planet? Because of it's the Mughal been, system. It's been, uh, okay, look here, brother. Why are they the richest people on the Can planet? Can you let anybody else have a word against. in between? Well, Stop. Okay, you You're said it's wrong. No, uh, before I, I even said wrong. it. No, you, you haven't. agreed with you, me. No, no, no. They're the richest no. people on the planet. Oh, so, okay, okay. So, listen, so how can they be the richest people on the planet? The richest. The richest. They're being discriminated against. Agree to disagree. We don't agree. No, no, no. We'll not agree. The richest people. India became the richest country during the Mughal era. Not during the caste system which existed long before the Mughal era as well. Yeah, the Upanishads. India was the, the richest look, country in the world for about 5,000 years. Oh really? When yeah. was the last time you got that study? Where's the evidence? Even, even, even Where's the evidence for that? According to why, Roman why historians, you know, the, according to Roman Brahman historians, temple, you know. India was yeah. the Which richest historian? countries Which in the world. Which historian? But India was. Talk, talk, talk. I will, I will, I will, I will, I You lost. You know why? You know why he makes up things? When he loses, so you know, he won't let anyone talk he, and he, he makes up I mean, myths. Pliny, Pliny the Elder is one of the historians that references India as being one of the richest countries in and the when world. Did Pliny exi you when did Pliny exist? Pliny the Elder was around uh, 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 around the time of Pompeii, when Pompeii collapsed. Yeah, which year? Oh, do you which have year? any contention? So if you look up Pompeii, the, the Vesuvius. No, no. Was what it 5,000 years? Under Mughal rule. Was it 5,000 years? 2,000 years. Oh, years. now, so no. now Pliny is 2,000 years. His uh, argument Pliny of 5,000 years. Pliny is one of the sources. Man, so it wasn't 5,000 years. So you lied. It is 5,000 You got caught on camera again. So he's saying. I said for 5,000 years. But where's the evidence for 5,000 years? Where? The Harappan civilization, my friend. The Harappans were not. Hindus. Going with this. <laughs> they, they were, were not members. Hindu. Yes, they, were. they were Aryan. They were not Hindu. No, 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 what kind of a person are you? So why, is Shiva, why is Shiva in the Harappan civilization? The single biggest figure found that's dug up from the ground. Where's the evidence for that? Shiva. Where's the Go evidence for that? Go to a museum in Pakistan. No, no, you should show me the evidence. Go to some museums in Pakistan. You. Have you been? Have it. you been there? Oh, I've okay. seen. I've read books What's on it. Okay, so so tell me. So tell me, which year was the Shiva statue found? The Shiva, the Shiva <laughs> statues are found, what? dated from between 2500 BC. Where? Where going is this? Right the way Where up, is this evidence? Going right. In Where the museums in Pakistan, you have this museum. museum. Give me a name. Mahanjo Daro, 
the museum on Mahanjo Daro. There's a museum on the Guys, you know, you know, know this guy is a like charlatan. This you know why? Tradition. Because Mahanjo Daro is not a Hindu place. Neither was the Harappan. You so lied. Why is Shiva there? Why is Shiva there? There is no Shiva there. You there made is it up. Shiva there. Evidence, prove your. So there. bring evidence. There are large numbers you of statues of You are just making up things. You're a charlatan. You're making. Okay. You're just lying. You know, look, look. I don't want to embarrass you in front of the camera, but I'm telling in your face that you just lied. All the people here, in fact, are saying. You're 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 saying. You He's you lying, this guy. Propaganda. This guy is a charlatan. He's trying to start smart. So your ancestors so you, Shiva. My ancestors? How do you know that? If, if you have a connection with Pakistan, ah, if, if, your but ancestors worship Shiva. But I don't, Shiva. so you're lying. And that's why Once you're again, the reason he said Shiva because he has no evidence. All he's saying is... Go to some museums in Pakistan. The, the onus is on you. The onus is on you to provide we evidence. Are, we are talking about... By the way, do you know... We are, we are talking about in, who's in, 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 in he's Pakistan. making up things. We are talking the Harappan... You know the Harappan has got nothing to do with Hindus. The Mohanjadaro has got nothing to do with Hindus. They are the Aryan... These were Aryans who had their own religion. They, are, they found a dancing girl there. It's, it's got nothing to do. It's got nothing. No, no, no. Exactly. So all Pakistanis but not Hindu. are Indo-European. But not Hindu. All Pakistanis said, are Indo-European. But you said Shiva. It's got nothing to do with Hindu. Shiva was the god that was dug up in Harappa. Is Shiva Indo-European? Is Shiva Indo-European? No, it's not. It's a god. So where's the evidence for that god? It's the, the dog, the god is physically dug up as a statue. Bro, you're just making up things. Please stop embarrassing yourself. No, because all you did was, a, all you did was just my friend. I've read books on the topic. Yeah, but you don't know who God is. Do you have an open mind? You are, I do. No, 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 no. Okay. No, no, it's not about. It's not about. Come do you? On, okay? By the way, do you no, think the Hindu from, God? Do you think the Hindu to God? Topic, you know, you Habibi, wait, wait. Do you think the Hindu God, Christian God, and the Muslim God, they have the same attributes? I believe that all of those religions have great wisdom we should respect. <laughs> See, once again, you don't answer the question. Do they have the same attributes? <laughs> all of the religions say contradictory Why things. Why do you never answer the question? All of those What's religions, your problem? All of those religions <laughs> have contradi have, ha say contradictory things. Okay, so if they have contradictory things, that means their understanding of God is contradictory to each other as well. But they agree in mo many things as well. Yeah, I didn't say there was no similarities because all and religions we respect them no, no, all religions talk we about morality. But I'm, I gave you I, my question okay, to you he's, he's from the very beginning was about God. You still haven't answered uh, the question. I, I he went into maths. He went. Which part? Islam is a great religion. No, no, don't try to. And just also, say, I agree Islam with you. is a great religion. I, do, I, do agree with you. I asked you about God. Muhammad is one thing is, you know, is to be respected. You know, he's a look, holy prophet. I think you. I think generally, look, generally, I think you're. You believe he's a prophet. Oh. Yes, I do. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, but look, you you seem like a nice person, but one you thing my father has donated to a sh Sufi shrine, by the way. Uh, <laughs> your, your, your father might have committed shit. He accepted he did that. <laughs> okay. My father do donated. Because we, we fund. My father for for, for and for generations of my family have financed the Sufi shrine. Okay. If I if no, if I ask you about the sh man. Sufi shrine, that would be done. <laughs> but my question was about God. Why are you are not accepting truth then? You know, like like the like infanticide, female infanticide. So you might be a good person you want to spread you know. peace and harmony but you see you can never try to reconcile all religions under one umbrella i agree with you okay well, what's your you, heard, you heard about what dina ilahi did you hear about dina ilahi go back to the so akbar you know He's akbar tried to do that by the way by the akbar way. tried to yeah. unite all the religions and wrong. his religion was a failure discrimination it's called okay he's saying yeah. discrimination, discrimination is wrong, is wrong. Okay. so it's unjust. Is it's unjust i agree yeah. so, but people specializing in jobs that they're good at, there's nothing wrong with that. No, but that's your misunderstanding. You think Jati is only Varna, it's not. So Jati, should, should you know there's a Shatriya Jati. I agree Jati. with you that discrimination is wrong. So, so there is this, why I agree. Good. I agree with the Finally agree. Constitution. You agree, mashallah. I agree. Finally I agree. agree yeah. with the Indian because Constitution. Because earlier only Varna. It says you must slowly, not slowly discriminate. You, come, you, yeah, 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 you, you must not discriminate. So if anything in the Hindu scriptures which discriminates 
based on the birth. Would I you, agree. Would you, would you disagree with that? Good. Yes. Now you see the difference. The difference between. By the way, I agree that in female infants. Even if one girl. You know, it used to. Forward, the discussion forward. He agrees now. So yeah, where, where Alhamdulillah, agree? finally agrees. But the thing is, you know, look, when we talk about caste system, which is still much How prevalent in, politics, in yeah. India, no, no, we don't want to go into politics. <laughs> That's another kettle of fish. So what we are saying is that there are discrimination, like you said, is wrong for anyone, and especially based on the birth, based on the family in which they're born. And this is the crux of the caste system, which they call the Jati and not Varna. So there's the Kshatriya Jati, there is the the Brahmin Jati and the Brahmins have always taken the upper, upper position and they have discriminated everyone under them, especially the Shudras, especially the Dalits, especially the untouchable called the Chandals. And this is real in India. Okay, okay. okay so you can't just you can't just brush it under the carpet. Let me, let me tell you one more, please. Can, yeah, you, can, you, can, you, say, can I say something? I need to go Why they are Brahman? Why did the caste system? I tell you, okay? Because the Aryans are tall people. Indo-European people were Aryans, okay? The European race. Okay? They were. They came all the way from India, from Afghanistan to India, okay? They were. They were, they were, they were Brahmans. They called themselves Brahman because they were tall, white. You know, those the Dravidians, the original Indians. You know the small, the, the south side Indians are original inhabitants yeah. of India. Lived in okay, and they were all in, is they were that, all like, yeah. untouchable and all no, uh, scheduled caste or something yeah. like that. It my is true. It's propaganda. But, you know, some people, because you're you defaming get... your own ancestors. It's, it's yeah. 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 And most, I honor my ancestors, I would never in insult them. <laughs> the, 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 point, the point that I'm trying to make is this. That I, I believe that our ancestors were very wise people and they built a great country that was for 5,000 years the richest country in the world till the East India Company came along and destroyed it and they pitted everyone against everyone else. And they said, you people are only Hindus and everyone else is your enemy. In Africa as well. You people are only Muslims, everyone else so you, is your enemy. You see, uh, and, 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 and you people are Christians, everyone else is your enemy. Sorry. And we mustn't think like that. We are brothers and sisters. And then in Rwanda. Including the, the British. By the way, I believe the British Rwanda should genocide. never have left India. What? They made a big contribution. They shouldn't have left. You wanted, you want, you wanted to be a slave to no, the British? No, 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 no. Seriously? I believe <laughs> that they made a great contribution, but they should have lived as equals. They should have lived as equals. Oh, okay, with us, okay, okay. with no discrimination. So the point I'm if trying they, to make is, they, 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 we, 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 going back, going back, going back, going back. No, no, but the thing is, look, the Hindus, the Hindus themselves the Brahmins, do not consider but, equality within the society. And Mahabharata is one. Yeah, but, but but you both of you are both of you. No, no, but but hold respond? on. The important point, which you actually one thing you have, you kept saying is propaganda when oh, it's actually mind. in the he's Hindu talking. manuscripts themselves, in the Hindu scriptures. Do you take that back? In the Bhagavad Gita that I read from the Upanishads, it says everybody's equal and to be loved as your equal. I give you the. And there are no castes. Right. Right. And the Bhagavad Gita says there's no castes. Okay, the okay. 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 So he's got a different version of that. Yeah, that's why I said this contradiction. Like you said, the Upanishads are not a small book. The very beginning, he only the very focused on the Bhagavad Gita. Today, the Bhagavad Gita things. is only a part, no, is a fraction. Is no, no, hold on, hold on. The Bhagavad Gita, what he's doing is he's actually saying the Bhagavad Gita is the one he read. The Upanishads and, is a and some is of the a, Upanishads. Which can't you let amazing. anyone talk without interrupting? No, Stop I'm doing it. To, both of you no, 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 hold on, hold on. Let me finish. I think you responded enough. So let me tell you that the Upanishads and the Mahabharata are serious books taken seriously by the Hindus. They don't just chuck it under the bus because it goes against them. Yeah, okay? And no, he doesn't actually. When I read the Upanishads and I gave it to him, he said that this is something that is. I get, here's a reference. If you want, check it out. It's called Chandogya Upanishads uh, 5, 10, 7. So 5 slash 10 slash slash 7. Okay, now he says over okay, there. Okay, now I people. Will it. I will yeah, sure, no problem. Research. Take a picture of that. Yeah. And I'll give you Mahabharata as well. Okay. Actually, it's just below that. Mahabharata is not. Re it's just regarded as a story. Well, it's not regarded that as is that is a story of Krishna. So don't just chuck it under the bus. Krishna okay, to the Hindus. But it is a story. Everything in uh, it's a romantic every, story. Every, but everything in the Hindu Epic. scriptures are stories. The Upanishads, the Mahabharatas, the uh, what do you say? Uh, all the all the scriptures they have, the Puranas. Yeah, all these when, are when stories. When something is pre presented to me as a story, it's not re represented to me as as an injunction. You must do this, it's the law. It's, it's, not, it's presented not, oh, to me as a story. No, no. If it is a Shruti, then it is the law. That's why I said go and study because you haven't studied this. I have. Shruti and Smriti are two different categories of the Hindu scriptures. If it's Shruti, it is law. If it is Smriti, then it can be changed. These are stories which come later on. And Manu Smriti is from the stories, from the one which is considered Smriti. That's why it ends with Manu Smriti. 
Yeah? Yes. And you know Dr. Ambedkar? Yes. Who was Dr. Ambedkar? Dr. Ambedkar was the guy who came up with the uh, constitution. Absolutely. See, he's the one who penned the constitution. Yes. And he tore up Manusmriti. Do you know why? Yeah, yeah. Because he went from Hinduism and he changed to Brahmin. No, he became a Brahmin. Why would someone who's well educated in the, wait, wait, let me finish. Why someone like Dr. Ambedkar who's well educated in Hinduism change his religion from Hinduism to Brahmin? No, no, because, no, no, brother, not Brahman. You're, you're mistaken. Brother, I'm not mistaken. Hold on, hold on. Can we, can we let me finish. Let me finish. You know why? You know why he changed his religion? Because he realized that this caste system is so intertwined within Hinduism that he cannot get rid of it. He will forever, because he comes from the lower caste, he will forever be discriminated if he's a Hindu. But no, when he became a Brahmin, elected. brother, by the way, when he became a Brahmin, in Brahminism, they don't have caste no, no, system. brother, you are just mistaken. You can't, you, Brahman is born, you know, from a Brahman family. Yeah, it's it's inherited. Inherited. Yeah, Brahman. He it's can't change. No, no, he, you can't that, change. No, no, you can't change. No, no, that is called yeah. Judaism. What you're it's talking about is No, no, it's oh, not Brahman. Can I just no, Why don't you go and read it about Dr. Ambedkar? I know. He became Christian. No, he became Christian. He became a Brahmin. Can I come back to this? It's a bloodline. Okay. On the Brahmin. On the Brahmin. He's saying it's a bloodline. It's a bloodline. It's not a bloodline. Do you know what? Judaism. Okay, Judaism. When it comes to the Brahmin. He doesn't know about Brahminism. Okay, when we come to the Brahmins. Do you know what a Brahmin actually is? I don't. A Brahmin. Sorry, he became a, a Buddhist. Buddhist, not Brahmin. A Brahmin. If I, did I say Brahmin? A Brahmin. What I mean, he became from a Hindu to a Buddhist. Speak? And Dr. Ambedkar was speak? a lower caste. He, became, he changed his religion from Hinduism can, can you, to Buddhism. By mistake, if I said Brahmin, I meant Buddhism. Can you, let Buddhism. Me you know, today thousands of people change their religion Bra Brahmin. from Hinduism to either Muslim, to Christianity, to Buddhism yeah, because of the caste system. So don't tell me it's just bad okay, enough. Okay. Or, now, or, or getting Korean. back to your point about Brahmins, do you know what a Brahmin actually is? No, a Brahmin right. simply means, and it is a Varna term, not a caste term. It is a caste term. It means, it's, it's called no, Brahmin it's Jati. No, no, Go and look not. it up. You no, don't know not. this. No, it's not. You don't know this. No, it's not. Make your point, please. A Brahmin, it means literally the, the Varna of the teacher. It means, a, literally, it means a school teacher. Oh, and all school teachers were automatically Brahmins across the whole of India. And when you stop being a school teacher, you stop being a Brahmin. That's that not true. is a fact. That is not true. That is shall a I fact. tell you? Shall I tell you why that's that not a fact? That is a fact. Okay, can that I have a, a fact. Can I respond to that? And, and so, 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 so this now, idea, this idea that Brahmins are discriminating against the other caste makes no sense because it's like that saying absolutely the school wrong. teacher, absolutely the school wrong. teacher is discriminating against the students that is his job to go and teach. But it it doesn't make any again. sense. That is, okay, making, now can I... No, you, no, and it makes no sense whatsoever. Can I, can I respond to that? This is where you've got propaganda. No, you just, you know... This is where you've got propaganda. Can I respond to that? Okay, brother, let, it, let me respond to that. You know, now, let me respond without interrupting. He says the Brahmins are considered to be just teachers. Now, listen to school this. School teachers. They, literally school teachers. There, there is something... Is the meaning of a Brahmin. There is something called the Brahmin Jati. The first schools on Please earth stop established interrupting. in India. Please stop interrupting when I'm talking. I didn't interrupt I you. I barely get like one sentence. I think in. you should go and watch video because you're the one talking the most. I doubt it. I doubt that. Okay, I you will... Doubt you, <laughs> if we do a word count, I bet you he gets two words in for every one of mine. That is completely <laughs> false. He probably got three words for every one of mine. In the Mahabharata, in the, in the Mahabharata number 1327. Okay, come in here. He says... Really? Hey, hey, come here, right. Why, why are you scared of the camera? You already covered your face. Why are you so insecure? Okay, what, what do you want to say? Okay, anyway. Because, okay, so Mahabharata number 1327, it says... No, no, the hierarchy of an untouchable is not a hierarchy. Don't get me that. Untouchable. What stops, okay. what, 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 what stops a you metal see, you didn't worker? Let me finish again. Let me finish. No, no, you didn't let me finish. What stops no, a metal me worker? What stops a metal me worker finish. from moving to the next village and becoming a school teacher, which means he's a Brahmin? So you got nothing to do with school teacher. You have That's rubbish. Power based on these roles. Brother, Brahmin is called a jati. Brahmin is. You can only become a Brahmin based on your on your lineage. Yeah. So if you read Mahabharata. 
If you let me get a word in between. Ajati literally means group. Jati means group? Yes. Okay. So From what? Sanskrit. Wait, wait. From Sanskrit. So why do the Jati, Jati is how it's pronounced, okay, so by the way. It means group. Okay. How That's the literal meaning. It means group. Okay, so a group of Brahmins. And, and, so what? And Jati basically means right. any group. It? So a regiment in an army is a Jati. No, no, how was it practiced? A regiment in an army how, is a how Jati. Was it? How was it practiced? And in fact, in the Maratha army, the Jatis were famous. So my question, which was the regimental system in the Jati okay, army. So you had the Brahmin Jati, you had the Kshatriya Jati. Jati, yes. And yeah, the this is what, means group. So this is this is not based on a varana class, not based on the career. Thank you. You're, you're, it's not based on that. Jati from Sanskrit just means group. Yeah. So what? A group of people who are called Brahmins. It doesn't mean class. Class. It's, it's based it on the birth. It doesn't mean practice. practice. Okay. How was it practice? Okay. Now, okay. In English now, now the now the Mahabharata, which he doesn't let me quote, he keeps interrupting. How was this practice? Bro, listen to this. Was it practice it says, by definition? There was says, social mobility to go upwards and downwards. There was a based social the birth, hierarchy. A group based the on the birth. of the society was the people who were to be respected the most. It's based on the birth. Was it based on bloodline? Birth, no. yes, yes, no, he said yes, yes. No, it wasn't. I, I can prove it to you from the Mahabharata, number 1327. It says, Yudhistra asked questions about how persons from the three lower castes can attain the status as Brahmins. Sure. Brishma answers them. He says Brahmin status is unobtainable for these cars in the same birth. Only through innumerable births they can hope to be a Brahmin. So that daughter that that, that completely class. refutes him. That means your this guy has been lying all along. Yes. He's been lying all along. According to your he, said, he said he's only According teachers. Quote, that is a lie. According to your quote, it means your son and daughter can be a Brahmin. Yeah, if, if they're you're untouchable. Only if you're a Brahmin. Yeah, no. No. You, according to that quote, your son and daughter can be a Brahmin. When? How? If you're when? untouchable. How? When? How? Because through rebirth, you can Thank you. Oh. So not, not through the same birth. Rebirth means many, many, many rebirths. No. Yes. It says your here, son and daughter can do a different job. And here's the rebirth. That means the wait, jobs wait. can change. And, and from now, son and daughter, exactly wait, wait. the point I made. But after the, the rebirth, after the, the rebirth, very first point you I made, forgot to mention you the rebirth. Yeah, me right and you no, you forgot to mention the rebirth. It means your son and daughter can be the prime minister. After the rebirth, your son and daughter can be a after brother. the rebirth. If you're an which you keep your ignoring, which you keep ignoring. You know why you have been refuted again from the Hindu you scriptures? You just proven me right. No, I did not. Way, from the, the rebirths. Did you see that? You right. It is from the rebirths they become. So when you become many rebirths, then you might become a Brahmin. Not in the same birth, which is the reason he didn't want me to read the Mahabharata. Listen. <laughs> Listen. He's and saying not in the same birth. And I read it here as well. If you're if you're untouchable, your son and daughter can become a Brahmin and the me. Prime Minister. Read the last statement here, brother. But not me. Brother, read this. Read you this. could have from your birth. Read the one I've highlighted. Read so it aloud. everyone can from their birth. Read it aloud. What everyone does this say? Everyone gets born. What does Everybody innumerable gets born. Births. Only through innumerable births, which he didn't want to mention earlier. That is the reason I say he's lying. The Brahmins are not just based, the they're the teachers. Look at the way, like you said, your birth, my friend, you have been proven to be lying. No. Yeah, exactly. You through didn't mention that. Through your birth, you can change your vocation. Thank you. So you agree. From birth, on, you can. So you agree it's not the same birth. So long as you are a teacher. Is that a teacher? <laughs> so long as you are an apprentice. Now he's backtracking. No. Now he's backtracking. You've been, you been exposed on the camera. No, I haven't. You should be, you you just should be ashamed. Through your birth, you can change. Only through innumerable births. But, but who defines that? You define that yourself. Okay, the innumerable births are done. I'm going to change and be a Brahmin. That's, that's from the Mahabharata, not from me. It's from the Hindu scriptures. I say myself, innumerable births are done. Now I'm a Brahmin. Exactly. So you're basically... It all depends on can I do it? I'm born. So I go and try. Do an apprenticeship with oh, the Brahmin. Can I be a Brahmin? I'm a Brahmin. After how many births? I say the innumerable births are done with me. Innumerable births, did you see that? How would you no, know which bird you're going to no, become? He's claiming the immutable birth. He's claiming, he said. No, no, now, he's, now he's backtracking. Decide. Earlier he said they were just teachers. He's backtracked so many times. No, this, guy, this guy flip flops, you know? Brahmins when were he finds, literally school when, when, teachers. When I, That's I, the literal meaning of a Brahmin. You know, I, it's not an ethnic group. Speaking of school, I schooled you from the Mahabharata. That's why you retract. You lied. My friend. You lied. You Brahmins. said they were only teachers. They were only teachers. Yes. Brahmins can be. Can the Kshatriyas. Can can the Kshatriyas means warrior. Okay. Can they be 
school teachers because today you don't have war you in India. Listen, the, okay, can they be school teachers? Can who be school teachers? The Kshatriyas. Yes. Okay. The sons and daughters can be. So what's then? What is the uniqueness about the Brahmin being a school there teacher? There isn't being any uniqueness. That's Thank you. Making. So Brahmin when doesn't mean school that, teacher. Thank you. You just proved yourself wrong of, again. Saying, oh that my anybody God! Anybody can become a school teacher if they can do the job. But you like said that. they okay. were called Brahmin school teacher. Okay. Everyone who's a school teacher is called a the Brahmin. Is, that is utter is, rubbish. Is just a theological the utter nonsense. Yeah, it's a theological yeah, yeah, it's a theological Brahmin. question. Okay, so what now we is, what we've concept, established anyway. You know, even the Shatriyas. Wait, wait. Even the Shatriyas. Even the Shatriyas. The rule. The caste. Wait, wait. Brahmins, then come the Kshatriyas, and then come the Vaishyas. Anyway, nice the Kshatriyas nice and the Vaishyas cannot become Brahmin. What's your name, by the way? It's very late. It's Bill. Bill? Bill? Nice okay. Nice My name is Hashim. Nice talking to you. Nice, nice talk. Make sure you watch this on Dawa Wise channel. Okay. And see how many times you lied. I and how many times I did. caught you. I don't and I and I schooled you. I'm not a Brahmin, but I schooled you. <laughs> okay, just like a Lakhar, brothers and sisters. You see... This is the difference between yeah, Islam and Hinduism. School. Hinduism, guys like him, they are born Hindus maybe, but then they left their religion. I know they so want to go about and Wikipedia. say that, oh, I like Islam, I like a bit of Christianity, a bit of Buddhism, a bit of Hinduism. And then they try to say, yes, look, I'm a great guy, I'm a good, I'm a good man. But then what they do is they actually push everything that the Hindus consider to be sacred and religious under the bus and they do the same thing with the Buddhists and the Muslims and the Christians as well they don't actually they're not loyal to any of these they pick and mix and this is exactly what the Emperor Akbar did in India he wanted to please everyone so what he did he picked a bit of from every religion and then he portrayed it as a new religion called Deen Ilahi what happened that particular religion flopped it was a waste of time and everybody realized that this is nothing but his own whims and desires. Similarly, Bill here, yes, who considers that the British should have stayed in India, and I don't think anyone who is a proud Indian would ever say that. Yes, he's, this guy is mentally colonized, and that's the reason he wants the Brits still to be in India. Of course they did good, but whom did they do good to? Whom did they lay out the railways for? It wasn't for the Indian people to be transported easily, it was for the goods to be transported all over India. So they can use the money of the Indians to become more rich. They colonize the country, not for the sake of the Indians or to give them a better life. Yes, when the Mughals were there, and I'm not saying the Mughals were all perfect either, they had their bad habits and they had their bad history as well. But when they came there, they stayed there. Yes, they made that their country. They built monuments like the Taj Mahal, which India is still proud of. And India gets a lot of revenue from that. They get a lot of money on Mughal architecture, like the Qutub Minar, like the Taj Mahal, like the Red Fort. During every Independence Day, the, the Prime Minister, they go there and they unfold the flag of India. And they're proud of it. They showcase their army over there in a Mughal architecture. Sorry, this particular building, the Red Fort, built by the Mughals as well. And they also get a lot of revenue from that throughout the year, just like the Taj Mahal and so on. So when the Mughals came to India, they stayed there. They made it that country. Like he said, it became the richest country in the world because of the Mughals. Yes, and this is what happens between the difference between a colonialist and some people. You know, at that time, they did not have the United Nations. So they didn't have like a... Uh, uh, what do you say, a state system like we do today. So every every major king or emperor, they used to invade another country when they had lots of army or lots of money. And this was a norm at that time. Yes. So when you read about Ashoka, he conquered all the way to Afghanistan himself. How did that happen? Because he was a conqueror. He was, con you know why Ashoka is called the greatest today in India? Because they acknowledged that, that he was a great emperor who expanded India greatly. And this is the reason he's on the coins in India. I think his statue, not himself, but the four lions which represent Ashoka's lions, and even the Ashoka pillar in India, which they're proud of as a national heritage. So they used to respect this. They didn't say that, oh, he killed thousands and millions of people, hence we're going to reject him. And by the way, Ashoka also changed from Hinduism to Buddhism, just like Dr. Ambedkar changed from Hinduism to Buddhism. And there are many flaws within that. They have the Sati system, he says that's propaganda. It's not propaganda. What happened when Krishna died? His wife com committed suicide. She jumped in fire. And this is in the books. When Krishna died. Yes, Krishna, one of the gods, they can die as well. Yes. 
and this is what we know. You know, recently they made some Bollywood movies. In I think it's called Padmavat or something. And this queen, this Hindu queen, when she feared her life, she come, she uh, took part in something called Johan, which is where they try to save their honor by jumping into fire. So jumping into fire is something which is quite predominant. Before the Brits came, actually it was the Brits, the colonialists, who stopped this evil practice of widows burning called Sati and this Johar and whatever it is. It was the Brits who stopped this. So they did do, do some good other than educating them and building railways and the postal system and the education system, which many of the Indians are still proud of, yes. So there are good things they have done, I'm not saying no. But to say that I wish the Brits had, had stayed in India and under the yoke of colonialism, I think this guy's lost it. He's probably a coconut, I think. Yes, <laughs> who, who is brown from the outside and still white inside, you know? <laughs> and I don't mean like this is something that he probably just learned in a day or so, something that has developed in his whole life. Yes, he has internalized it to such a level that he wants to remain both mentally colonized and also physically colonized. Yes, and this, you know, no one in India would want colonization or anywhere in any country would want colonization nobody would, because colonization was evil it was selfish it was to actually bring money to Britain and to make Britain a great nation they used to say that the Sun never set in the British Empire look what happened today it has set okay so anyway look all I'm saying is that there are flaws in every single Emperor Empire every single uh, dynasty nobody's perfect but to to uh, use propaganda like the way he did saying that the caste system is just something which is called Varana and is uh, based on the vocation, is based on the, career, the type of career just choose. No, when I showed him evidence from their own scriptures, Upanishads and the Mahabharatas, which existed before uh, the Mughals came, before the British came, then it is not propaganda, it is in your own scriptures. If you want to throw that under the bus, that's your prerogative. But do not say that this is propaganda. It is pretty real. Go to India today. They don't even get married until they check what cause they belong to. They don't yes. even get married until they look at the horoscope if they match. Yes. This is the amount of uh, uh, discrimination they have there. So there is a lot of discrimination in India, no doubt about it. To just push it under the, under the carpet is not going to resolve anything. To solve the problem, you have to first acknowledge it that there is definitely a problem with the different cars. Go to any, new, and uh, look up any newspaper articles. You will, sorry, not articles, the, uh, the matrimonials, the newspaper matrimonials. And you will see that they specify which cars they want to get married with, yes? And they specify that this has to be the same cars, yes? And this is not something which is optional. It is mandatory for the marriage even. So yes, caste system is pretty much alive. It's got nothing to do with the occupation anymore because I don't think there's only four occup occupations in India. If anybody says that, then they must be really silly to say. You can bunch them, group them under, but these different jati, they call them the Brahmin jati, the Kshatriya jati, the Vaishya jati, and the Shudra jati. And the Shudra are the lowest, that's why they call lower caste. The reason they had to actually write a constitution and have special clause for the protection of this lower caste speaks volumes. The reason is because they were indeed getting discriminated and still are getting discriminated in India. There's no doubt about this. And then there are people who are even beyond this four castes that they have, the four Varanas, which they call. They're not even fit enough to be fit, fitted into these four categories of society that they have used. They're called the Dalits and the Chandals, who are the untouchables. So if a Hindu touches them, especially a Brahmin, he'll go and take a shower because they are so, I don't know, impure, unclean, and they will cast them as untouchables. Recently, there have been um, news articles in the Indian newspapers where a particular uh, Dalit or someone who's an untouchable, who's a lower caste, he actually touched the pole which connects one of the idols. He didn't even touch the idol directly. He touched a pole which is keeping it standing, you know? And he, yes, I think it was a Shudra. And he was, I think it was a kid actually. His parents were punished something like 60,000 rupees as a punishment for touching the pole that connects the idol. This is the amount of discrimination there is. Yes, many of the women are actually raped and killed because they should know their place in society. That's what they were told. Yes, this was an article I read in Reuters, which I wanted to bring up to him. We didn't want to in, indulge in that. So yes, acknowledge these different discriminations which are found in your own scriptures. 
yes, including the Manu Smriti, which I didn't mention with regards to caste system, but it actually gives you the rules of what a Kshatriya should do, what, sorry, what is the position of a caste, whether they should be touched or not, uh, based on the lower caste or not. This is all mentioned in the scriptures. It's actually like a rule book. And that's called Manu's rule, this Manu Smriti. And this is, many Hindus consider to be a sacred book of this. And they respect it as religiously. There are, you know, neo-Hindus like these guys, they wouldn't care about anything. They would, as soon as it disagrees with their modernist views, they will chuck it under the bus. So for them, they have no difference between a manuscript, sorry, a, a religious book or something which, uh, which their own whims and desires agree or disagree with. So they always go with what their own whims and desires agree, rather than the scripture which the Hindus consider to be from, uh, to be a religious book. There's a big difference between the two. One is your own opinion, the other is considered to be sacred and holy for, the, for many of the thousands and millions of Hindus who believe in the scriptures. Uh, uh, with that, Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Don't forget to subscribe to Dawah Wise and the other channels here as well. Jazakallah khairan.